your mechanic and car repair jobs. Welcome to another great homework guy video. Hello, it's Elizabeth from the team. Today's menu includes high school repair programs, your mechanic mobile repairs, collision centers, and what do customers actually say about repair shops. Remember, you can use the cool chapters feature below to fast forward to the part you're looking for. Let's roll. Our previous news video focused on automotive jobs. Check it out for more info, but I'd like to continue the conversation. It's really important that young Americans learn the value of working with their own two hands and working young. So I have more dealerships for you that are investing in high school programming. First is LaFontaine Automotive Group in Michigan, which encompasses 28 stores and 10 collision centers. They'll be providing tools, training, and mentors to a suburban Detroit high school's certified technician training program which accepts 20 students from 9th and 10th grade every year and 20 students from 11th and 12th. These students will be ready to take the ASC certifications when they complete the program. Some students will even be offered paid apprenticeships during summer vacation this year. As of October this year, LaFontaine Auto Group is in search of 120 technicians, but they've decided they want to grow their own. Smart. In Philadelphia, Faulkner Auto Group pledged $1 million in equipment, tools, and human resources to a local school and Ed Morris Automotive in Florida announced a partnership with South Tech Academy, a career and technical high school, which will give students a chance to job shadow and get on the job experience. Do you have great programs in your area? I would be encouraging the young people in your life to look at trades programs and get them thinking about making money right away after high school, instead of going into debt first just to make mediocre money. Just a thought. As a refresher, repair techs and factory workers who are already in the workforce are now in short supply in the auto industry. Unemployment benefits changed the attitude of many of these workers over the last year and a half. But the ever-present problem of people not being satisfied in their work or elevated to a new position or pay grade is generally a factor too. Have you heard of the new mobile repair and maintenance platform called Your Mechanic? You can schedule a service call on their website and a technician will come right to your home or office to complete the work. CEO Anthony Rodillo estimates that 30% of his techs formerly worked at dealerships. He seems to have attracted a large percentage of middle-aged techs citing that they wish to work for more money per hour, work fewer hours, and have more flexible scheduling. <laughs> Don't we all? And the older techs, the ones getting closer to retirement, report that the wear and tear of turning a wrench takes a toll on their bodies, and Your Mechanic offers them a better work environment for that reason. Your Mechanic requires all onboarding workers to have at least five years of experience and one certification, but the average experience level is 10 plus years of experience with multiple ASC certifications. Rodeo notes that his company is all about sending work to experienced mechanics, not training newbies. One employee, age 52, from the Fort Worth, Texas area, reports that his pay at dealerships ranged from $20 to $30 an hour, but with your mechanic, it works out to about $48 an hour. Their website boasts earning up to $70 an hour. You can choose your schedule because they do service seven days a week. Fair pay, no complex jobs, which is great for the older techs. Focusing on what you love, so be your own boss, but the company will handle the scheduling and getting you the work, which is a win-win for everyone, I'd say. They currently have 1,000 mechanics in 20 states. Two and a half million people visit their website every month, and they have large fleet accounts like Uber and Lyft. I'd say your mechanic has got something good going on. I'm in a repair mood, you know, since the homework guy team agrees, it's better to fix your car right now instead of buying and selling. However, when it comes specifically to collision repairs, Many dealers just shudder at the thought. In fact, only 37% of the U.S.'s 16,000 dealerships operate on-site collision centers, a slight drop since 2017. But it's a lucrative business, with $6.1 billion in revenue generated in 2020 alone. That's an average of $719 per vehicle. There is a way to know if a dealer collision center is doing a good job, some higher standards of practice, if you will. They have formal processes in place and hold their technicians accountable for following them. Details are executed meticulously, which saves the dealer and the customer lots of time because there aren't any redos. Up-to-date equipment is used for making these repairs. Good inventory tracking systems exist to make sure all parts used are reported to the insurance company and customer. And they provide compassionate and comprehensive customer service. That's just good manners though because people who are just involved in a collision are at a low point in their life. They're either hurt or worried about getting to work, you know? If the repair center does well, customers will buy a new car from that dealership and the sales cycle continues. Some dealers, like Zinn Automotive in Florida, have 70% of repairs come from the vehicles they sold themselves. That seems really high, considering that many dealerships repair shops aren't necessarily to be trusted. So I'd have to say there's either nowhere else for customers to go in that region 
or Zinn is actually doing a good job. I'd like to read some comments about your experiences with repairs at car dealerships. This whole article was focused on large repairs, but don't forget that routine maintenance is its own animal. Comment below. Have you noticed a difference in how you are treated when you go in for routine maintenance versus large repairs? I'd wager a guess that because car insurance companies are involved in covering large repair bills, there's less need to push these customers around to get more money out of them. What is the most important feature of a car repair shop to you, Homework Guy viewers? A recent Automotive News Journal published survey results from 14,000 people. The number one response for most important car repair shop feature was proximity to home or office. Now that works with the your mechanic right there. Online reviews and word of mouth, 16%. Provides warranty for work, 16%. Affiliated with a franchise dealership, 14%. Has proper certifications, 14%. Gives estimated price of work, 8%. Recommendation made by the insurance company, 6%. Another statistic I thought was interesting was that 49% of customers wanted pictures or videos of the work being done to their vehicles but only 16% received them. But everybody carries a smartphone. I remember the last time some repair guy came out of the back of the shop with a bad part in his hand to show me how badly I needed to replace it. It wasn't even a part from my car. He just kept it on the shelf for what he thought were easy sells, like a female going to the repair shop by herself. Hard to say how much the sharing of photos or videos would make the repair service better, but it seems like customers would trust them more if there was some evidence of the work being done. Comment below, should mechanics and technicians provide you with pictures and videos of what your car needs for repairs? All right, if you appreciate our video today, consider giving us that great big thumbs up and please always remember to comment on our videos and share them with your family and friends. Comments really matter because they help boost our searchability and lead others to great homework guide content too and they can save money just like you. The entire homework guide team is here to represent you, the car buyer, and that's what we love to do. Thanks everyone for coming back. We'll see you in our next video. As Kevin always says, you guys rock. I'm the amazing Elizabeth. Gotta go.